Today we will have a look at how you can create some music and add some music to your Pixel game. Music is an important part of any game and we will start by adding static music to our game. Dynamic music is also possible in Pixel. We will not cover it here, but if you want me to create a video dedicated to writing and added dynamic music to the Pixel game, please drop a comment and I will make a video for you. We'll start by learning how to compose music, and the music consists of three things. Bass line, melody and drums. Do not forget that you have only four channels in Pixel for music channels or for sounds channels, which is the same thing in this case. So you can have only three channels used for music and one channel used for sounds. Let's try to see by example how you can write a simple music in Pixel Editor. Let's remember how we use Sound Editor in the first place. Here we can change the number of sound, for example, sound 4, sound 6. We can also change the speed of sound. Let me show you an example. So speed 4 will play this really fast, like this. We can also use the piano editor to write some notes. Let's start by programming drums. We program drums using noise tone. The tone is set here by specifying tone letter. N stands for noise. We also can specify custom volume for each sound, in this case is 3, and we can also specify an effect, FX. Now let's learn what different sounds you can use and uh, what different tones you can use, volumes and effects. For the tones, you can use triangle, square, pulse and noise. As I mentioned, noise is used for the uh, drums and triangle, I believe, is by default. Volume changes from 0 to 7. And you can have several effects, like non-effect, which is by default, slide, which uh, will make one note uh, kind of slide, gradually change to another, vibrato, which will make note uh, to vibrate like uh, something like this, and fade out will make sure that the sound is gradually reducing like this. Oh, how to assemble everything to the whole song. For this, we go to the music editor or probably song editor here. Uh, well, it's called music editor. And here, what I'm doing, I'm assembling a different sound into the whole coherent song. A bit like a Fell Studio music editor, if you ever use this. Now, when you have created music, you can save your file, and that's going to be it. Now, let's create some simple music for the game we've been working on. We are using one sound channel for this little thing. So, let's add some drums. We're going to use tone noise. And we're going to use some very basic drum pattern. Yeah, okay, sounds great. So we have some drums. Let's add some bass. So I ended with something like this. And let's add just some uh, stupid melody. It sounds stupid, but it's good enough for our experiment, and let's create some music here. So, let's again remember what sounds channel I'm using. It is 1 for drums, 2 for bass, and 3 for sound. Now, what I need to do is to double check what music channel I'm using for sound in my game. So, let's see where the sound is played. And I'm using the zero channel. Well, while checking it out, I accidentally crashed my Pixel editor, so I will have to write music again. Okay, so we have really stupid music here. 
let's create some pattern channel zero is used for sound so let's use channel one for drums it's going to be pattern zero one so you just click where you want to put pattern and you click number of the pattern here and then if you want to delete you just delete then for channel two it's going to be bass so pattern zero two and for channel 3 is going to be our lead. We're going to skip this one. If you need to add some pause or empty sound, you can just use any empty pattern. In this case, I will use pattern 63, it's not used. And uh, here I will add my super melody, then pause and melody gain. Also, another important thing is that we can have more than one music and this is actually related to using different music in menus or dynamic music or things like that. So you can change music here. But let's have a listen what I have got here. Okay, sounds great. Let's save it. And now let's just uh, change the game to play music. And for this, I will change my class Pixel Sound here. And just in the init, I'm going to add Pixel Play Music, then number of music, and then loop, which will mean that the music will just endlessly loop. So basically, what I want from it. Done. Let's check our game. And we see it works perfectly. We have really stupid music and our sounds are still working. So thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial for adding music to your Pixel game. I hope it was helpful. Please drop me a comment to support me, my channel and my mission to make game development more fun and more easy for everyone. It was Test Encoder. See you around, folks.